Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So I got something in the mail the other day and I've been dying to share it with you. I uh, have been using it like a lot since I got it. Um, so I think it's only right to share and do a video and do the eye that I've done three or four times maybe with this product. So um, what I got in the mail was, and I keep putting it back in its original box, I don't know why, but I got the, oh, it's upside down. Jeffree Star Androgyny Palette, bitch, it is my shit, I've been living for it lately, I've been doing several eyes with it lately, so that's why I decided to just start this video without you seeing the final product, you can see the final product once we get it all on, but right now we're going to dig into this palette, these are the colors, you can see which colors I've been digging into the most, so yes, uh, yes. So we're going to get into this. Ah, so the three colors that we're going to use today are Fetish, Deja Vu, and Frosting. And then we're going to use Dominatrix in the crease of our eye. So let's just jump right into this look, shall we? Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and jump into under this brow, baby. I want to take Frost. Um, again, that is Frosting right here. And we are going to take that under the brow. So we're going to just take that little bit on the brush. Now that frosting is laying under my brow, we're gonna go into my favorite color. My favorite color on this palette is Fetish. Imagine that. It's like this, um, it's like this burgundy, deep, deep color. It's got a slight, look at that sheen to it. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Uh, so anyway, we are gonna take Fetish and we're gonna just Look at how pigmented that is. Like, oh my God. I am in love. The pigment on this is so good. And I'm using a packing motion on this like flat shadow brush um, with the fetish because I really want all of this pigment because it's going to be blended down anyway. Yes. After I get it laid on both sides, I'm gonna be daring and brave. Uh, Cause a lot of people forget about the underneath of the eye and I wanna remember the underneath of the eye. So we're gonna go right into that fetish and we're gonna go boom. So once that is smoked out, I like to take my brush and clean it off. And we're just going to blend this top portion a little bit, a little, a little bit, a little, a little, a little bit. Actually, I think I might, yeah, we'll just go with it. And same thing on this eye, we're going to blend the top of this. Lots of back and forth motion, blending up fetish. Lots of back and forth, lots of back and forth. Yeah, so that's blended. Yes. So after we go in with fetish, we are going to go ahead and go in with deja vu. And deja vu is like this pretty copper. It's got a nice, uh, shimmer to it as well um, and we're going to place deja vu right next to fetish same packing motion that we used Now, I know a lot of people like when they do like tutorials that they do like one eye, they go back and do the other eye. I'm very, very weird. I have to do 
the same thing on both eyes at the same time. Otherwise, I feel like I will. I mean, it's already always uneven. Like no matter what, they're never sisters. Are they sisters? They're never twins. But um, I feel like it makes it a lot better for me if I just switch back and forth in the same place in the same steps on the eyes. I feel like it just works better for me. I don't know why. Um, but I think it does. After we get those two colors placed, we have just this little corner of the eye left that I want to go back in with frost ing, frosting, 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 frosting. It's like what you put on the top of a cake. Mmm. Uh, but I want to take frosting, frosting right in the corner of my eye. So then we move on to the liner with this eye and with this eye because it is so good and so pretty, the colors are so good, I don't want to take out any black really into the eye. So we're just going to focus on the eye line, the water line, and a nice wing. Um, so I'm using a flat brush, angle brush, by e.l.f. So after we get that line done, you see it doesn't have the wing yet, um, so it's just kind of there. But what I like to do before I wing it out, I like to go in with this Ben Nye Black, a little bit of sparkle to it. I'm just going to smudge the underliner a little bit to soften it up. Not a lot, but just a tad. I just want the underliner a little soft. So after we get that underliner smudged and blended out, what I do now to finish my wing is I'm gonna take some liquid liner by e.l.f. The e.l.f. magic stick, got the magic stick. Um, and we're going to wing out the eye. So we're just gonna Voila, you got your wings done. There's a little bit of black that went up here, but that's okay, we're gonna fix it. That's how pigmented that color is. Like, that black is gone. A little bit of black, gone, look. Gone, fixed it. So for this eye, I don't wanna put on a huge lash because this eye is not very big. It's just very kind of neutral because it's like I said, the uh, Androgyny palette is a very neutral palette. So for this eye, instead of putting on a big 301, I'm gonna go with a 304 lash, um, Wix Store 304, um, because they are nice and short, but they're also spidery, so you can see all the work that's done behind this. So I'm going to take this lash, and we go now because the first one was painless means the second one's gonna be a pain in the ass. I think we got them on there. Yes, yes. Adding some mascara to a blend my natural lashes into the falsies, and b there's makeup on my natural lashes, so it is uh, bringing the color. Back to, I go back to black. Now that we have our lash and everything is on, I know this is backwards for some people, but I'm gonna go ahead and draw on some brows. Okay. All right, brow. She's cunty. She like, mm-hmm. So now that we have our brows laid kind of in the right place, I'm going to go in with Dominatrix and I'm going to finish out filling in my brow. That completes my look for the eyes using the Jeffree Star Androgyny Palette. 
Uh, like I said, this was really just like a, a quick tutorial on how this eye that I've been loving and living for since, let's just get a little closer. Yes. I've been loving and living for this eye ever since I got the palette in. And I mean, you can see like these colors are just so good together. And I don't mind, like normally I'm a, you gotta put black in that crease, get black in that eye, black, 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 black. But I'm like, with this, I don't mind it. I don't mind not having the black in there. So I really quite enjoy these colors together without even black in the eye. I just like that little black liner on there and I'm enjoying it. Oh, 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 oh. Since we're this close. The last thing I like to do, um, <laughs> sorry, I get really excited about this part, is I like to go ahead and take that frosting, baby. And I'm gonna take it on this angle blush brush and I'm gonna dip it in here. Ding, 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 ding. And we just go, oh, 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 yes. Yes, skin finish. Yes, skin finish. Oh, look at that. That's the best part. I add the whole thing. See this side? Me and this side and this side me at and this side's good and this side's flat and this side's real. Mm. All right, so that concludes this video of the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. Um, I am absolutely in love with it, as you can see, like this face. I love to do like a really kind of neutral look with it because of the fact that it is so good so i want to thank you all so much for watching once again thank you for subscribing to my channel if you like this video give it a thumbs up make sure you hit subscribe share this with your friends and family share this with anybody who is willing to watch it um because it always makes me happy to try to grow this a lot bigger than i've started it out as so thank you so much once again for watching and as always may the fierce be with you and the thinnest brow that starts here and goes all the way into my hairline Look at this brow. What is going on with that brow? See, I'm wearing like three bras because that silver sequin bra is too small. Bitch, you, you shouldn't have been wearing that. I'm gonna say this to 2012 Regina. What are you doing? You knew you should have